Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Pule Molebati. Every week we introduce you to people who've turned their struggles and adversity into triumph. And today's guests are no different. Matima witnessed the struggle that his sister Emily went through growing up at the time where children with disabilities didn't have many opportunities to learn. So he created the Putanang Learning Center for Children with Disabilities in Kopanong, Tembisa. He asked the Tembisa Customer Care Center manager for a venue which could accommodate these children during the day and be turned to their families in the afternoon. The siblings share their story of how it all began. Here are siblings who both played and still play very important roles in each other's lives. And to feel so intensively for each other is not a symptom of weakness, but a trademark of life and compassion. Here's a typical example of what we all need each other to survive really means. And the singer now who moves like Timbis. They say Hamba says, is a trash. Calling into a young pattern of rooms since that time. I was a beginner eight years. Manga Possis. Uncumbla see Vasco Shile, see Hamba, see Suella, Connors, 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 Suella Guno Fula, Suella Lapo, Ubaba me. I could get one of Omunia while I was a fan of my job of Angalamai. Oh, Mamma, I did the Omun. Mina Ben Hammer, I say move and pet him up plastic. In Vavab, such a ballon full. Lentola Zanga, I rang a pelling in London here. The way being born, Abbas Aliban Basso Pega Nakona Nat. And being the oldest child left her with no choice but to take care of her other siblings despite her condition. Madima is because of his sister. Though Emily sacrificed all she could and even left school just so her siblings could stay at school, life was still tough. Young as they were, both siblings tried to remain positive, but Emily's condition remained a joke to other kids. Must you in the pants? Who 
When they were growing up, he used to tell his sister that one day he will open a center that will cater for the needs of the disabled, and that dream has been fulfilled. Since his sister now lives in Rustenburg, there's been little interaction between the two. She recently visited Madima and got to see the fruits of her labor for the very first time. <laughs> So up until today, After the air break, we meet the learners at the Putanain Learning Center. Stay with us. Get all the latest news from the SABC's online news services on our website. Breaking news and in-depth coverage of everything from business, sports to politics and lifestyle. Catch the top news clips and watch live streaming of major news events on the SABC News YouTube channel whenever. Stay connected on the SABC News Facebook page and have your say on news that matters to you. And for the latest headlines and live updates from our reporters, follow us on Twitter. SABC Digital News, anytime, anywhere. Children's rights and health are a priority in the journey of good health. All children uh, should have uh, access to adequate health care, right. not only curative, but preventative as well. How to identify ADHD on children. ADHD is a childhood disorder which manifests with the symptoms of hyperactivity, impulsivity, and or inattention. Is breastfeeding still a vital nutrition to babies even today? Breastfeeding for the first six months of life is absolutely crucial. Catch Health Talk with Dr. Selom Mutawun every Saturday from 9 till 10 a.m. The big news is Newsroom. We also stream live on YouTube. Whether you're at home, at the office or at the gym, wherever you are, Newsroom is right there with you. Bringing you all the latest news, updates, sports, weather and everything in between. Get all the latest news you need on the go via live streaming on our YouTube channel. That's Newsroom, weekdays at 9am, only on the SABC News Channel. Welcome back to the show. The learners at Putanang are taught literacy, income generating projects such as flower arrangements, decorations and catering. The centre also has sporting activities and workshops on life skills. Matima is the founder of the Putanang Training Centre for the Disabled. The genesis of the centre was inspired by him growing up with a disabled sister. Putanang is a safe place for disabled children and youth, which has been running since 2007. 
lento le yankomba ukuthi kukhona abantwana abasweli khaya elifana naleli le sente masi mayicala sicala singana even a cent endlini but ngibe ngizama ngamandla kaNkulunkulu ukuthi lokuncane sokutholile endlini siyazukubathengela imaterial le bayisebenzisayo during during the day it was finally time to introduce the kids to the sister he has always been talking about. with so much joy as Maktima's dream finally came true. That is why I'm trying to be born again. I'm so. Let's go and enjoy it. Let's go Without help from such organizations, these young people are usually abused, work for hours without payment, raped, neglected, and misunderstood. But in the but Utema is all good. If you learn a center of Antonia Bacobas again, Ube watch a wooler cool. What she hasn't done a sekaya? Until I go to Ubatan, Ubanagel, Jim of Aboyans again. Sibalegel, I on a lento logoti. Who corner Aban to about thirty advantage a cool of Malabandana beach? Eh, Utologuti. Ubaba or Uput or in Kanshan. Oh, Ulan Sumiza Umduan. Then the Sizama who have waited, then to his father and Liz, who would smart to a full TV, but 
So, stand good to smash Susan and Stratin, Sebatrin, Elana, Oxogamo, eight exin, up until two Dambama, Siazo, good to Maba Puma Lana, Mabaya Emakaya, who corner our Abasiba corner, Emzin, General Abu Fuabo, Abu Tadubabo, Labo Bang and Akuma Normal School. He explains what the center teaches the kids. Abandona way to learn Abenza in knitting, Bayenza e baking, Bayenza e woodwork, Bayenza e pitwork, eh, the Bayenza in table decoration and flower arrangement. It's a table decoration which is a Sabinayo like in a way which is a Sinayo enough. Uh, uh, space. Their work is then taken to exhibitions to get sold. That very same money comes back to the center and helps buy all material needed. Then then the lava bunny, Babano, Babano, Utubop, Bayazuk figure, Passaport, Batting a lesson to this, Salabantana, then Masibuya, Siape, Utoki, Utimi one, two, three. Then a Sien, Sister Lisin, sitting in immaterial, Moba Asagabi, Ne Mad. Matima shows pure humility and his center is now known around Tembisa for its good deeds. It's very rare to find a person who seeks not only to heal themselves, but to heal those around him. And Matima's inner light holds a very unique inspiration. Sometimes the way to articulate who and what we are is through actions and the learners at Putanang are often misunderstood due to misconceptions about mental illnesses and physical disabilities. But the work they do at the centre speaks to who each and everyone is about outside of the stigma and the myth that come with that. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back after this. Victory requires intense effort, intense effort and teamwork. When you get to it, there is no turning back because all eyes are on you. When it's action time, nothing should stand in your way. 
Sports Life tackles and analyzes all the sports action. This is the home of all your sport news, updates, and more. Sports Life weekdays at 8:30 p.m. News today keeps you informed with news locally and around the world. When Judge John Thorpe um, challenged the uh, challenged the Supreme Court of Appeal when it sent the matter back and said that there must be an inquiry set up. We unpack business news. There's, a, there's an increase in general inflation in the country. We give you up-to-date news of the day. The drugs were seized at several locations in Sydney, including a shipping container sent from Hong Kong. Police say it's the largest haul of illicit drugs in two years. We round up sports news. Kotata, tell me about the legacy that you would like to build and be remembered for. Trying to get my foundation running, which is going to focus uh, on, you know, all the sport doesn't matter, disability or able body. So, I mean, I'm passionate about sports. Stay informed every Monday to Friday from 3 to 5.30 p.m. CAT. SABC News. I'm Peter Miller. And I'm Rebecca Minchetti Miller, SAB Miller and House of Bush in there. It's something that I need to learn to say more often. We'll together produce around a third of the world's beer. It is a mouthful. So have you ever considered skin bleaching? Nigeria tops the list of African countries with 77% of its women bleaching their skin. Now I can see that it is not good because it affects my face and some of my body parts. Thousands of Arab Israelis and Palestinians participated in a big rally. Flight MH17 was shot down by a Russian-made missile. How those chips may fall is a prediction best left to the currency of time. That's Primetime News, Africa Journal, and your world on SABC News. They are multi-talented and driven, and with the guidance of Madima, the founder of the center, we can expect more great work from these learners. Without any further delay, let me hand over the platform to them. The students at Putanang are taught by volunteers who facilitate the programs that run in the center. These young men you see here may look okay to you, but they are mentally ill. But still, nothing is stopping them from creating such beautiful craft with their hands. Since it's not fairly a big organization yet, it still depends on word of mouth. improvement Putanang survives entirely on donations and currently serves more than a hundred students. Madima's heart shows that the community of people with disabilities is not short of heroes. There are still people who inspire others to meet their own obstacles head on. And Matima is one of the people who take action on behalf of others in need. <laughs> Namanji, 
Mm. Mm. Matima, in your own right, you are a hero. You recognize the opportunity to make a profound difference in the lives of others and acted without hesitation. Your love and support has created possibilities for many young people. You have given them a chance for a normal life. You are their father, this is their home, and that is priceless. <laughs> After a long day at Putanang, it started raining, and a famous quote by Dolly Parton says, If you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain. And at the level you're going, there's no doubt there are still many rainbows coming your way. With that, we conclude our show today. Thank you for you at home for watching. Let's meet again next week, same time, same place. Until then, it's a goodbye from us here on the show.